Let's start with the simple truth that anyone who loves real history understands. Medieval builders were not guessing. They weren't stumbling into half-formed ideas or relying on luck. When they worked wood, whether for weapons, roofs, ships, barn beams, or tools, they needed that wood to survive weather, insects, humidity, rot, and war. Failure meant losing a harvest, losing shelter, or losing a life. So they developed curing mixes that preserved timber far longer than untreated lumber today. Some of these beams remain standing in Europe after 600 years of rain, frost, and heat. This wasn't magic. It was chemistry rooted in observation, carried by craftsmen and perfected through practice. That is why learning this method matters today. Whether you're into historical reconstruction, off-grid living, bushcraft, or simply appreciate forgotten engineering that still works better than some modern shortcuts. The heart of medieval wood preservation was a heated blend of pine tar linseed oil and wood ash that created a protective bond inside and outside the grain. The core of this curing mix wasn't random. Pine tar provided waterproofing. Linseed oil penetrated deeply, carrying the tar into the wood and hardening into a polymer-like shield as it dried. The mixture also proved vital in preserving medieval ships, which demanded constant protection against salt water. Shipbuilders relied heavily on the tar-oil-ash blend. Salt water corrodes wood far faster than fresh water, and untreated ship hulls rotted quickly. The cured mixture sealed planks, reduced swelling, protected against marine worms, and helped ships stay watertight between corking cycles. Many Viking and medieval boats duplicated the same formula using variations of birch tar or animal fats when pine tar was unavailable. This application remains useful today for anyone working with outdoor wooden structures near coastlines or lakes. A modern homesteader or craftsman can treat dock posts, bridge planks, fence rails, or boat ribs using a version of the medieval mix. The protective qualities remain exceptionally effective even without advanced tools. The wood ash component is the overlooked key that elevated this mix beyond simple tar coating. Adding ash wasn't a random tradition. Ash contains potassium carbonate, which raises the mixture's alkalinity. This helped emulsify the tar and oil, making them bind more tightly. It also discouraged termites, beetles, and larval burrowers that normally attack timber. High pH discourages fungal growth, giving wood a long-term advantage against moss, mildew, and decay. Craftsmen usually used ash from hardwoods like oak or ash trees because these produced a fine, mineral-rich powder. Anyone replicating this today should sift the ash thoroughly before mixing so it blends smoothly. This will create a cleaner, stronger cure that bonds evenly to the grain. You can apply this medieval technique today with easily sourced materials while staying true to the original formula. To build a small project using this method, gather pine tar boiled linseed oil and wood ash. Heat the tar in a metal container on low heat. Add linseed oil gradually until the mixture flows. Stir in ash until it thickens slightly. Apply while hot, let dry. Add additional coats over the next few days. The result will be wood far more durable than untreated lumber from a hardware store. This method is ideal for garden beds, tool handles, fence posts, shed siding, outdoor benches, or any wooden project exposed to weather. 
It does not require electricity, specialized equipment, or expensive chemicals. Just patience, heat, and attention to consistency. The medieval wood curing mix survived centuries because it was simple, effective, and based on real natural chemistry. It balanced penetration, waterproofing, alkalinity, insect resistance, and structural strength with a formula that required no modern industry. That's why it's still used quietly by traditional craftsmen who want wood that lasts. If you enjoy deep historical insight connected to real-world application, make sure you subscribe and share this video. This channel keeps ancient knowledge alive, and your support helps bring more forgotten techniques back into the light.